In this video, I'm going to show you how to get very easy gear score 700 in New World, and actually, some of it might be best in slot. Before I jump in, quick shout out to my Patreons, really appreciate you guys. If you want to support the channel, that's the best way to do so, or come and follow me over on Twitch. Now, the tech for this one is actually all about the season pass. No, I'm not going to show you how to level it up very quickly, although we will mention how to do that in a moment. It's actually to do with this. So in the season pass, you're obviously familiar if you play New World with the reward track. Every level you unlock something, I'm currently level 48, I've not necessarily even been trying to level it up. And actually I'll be a little bit higher than that when they give me back my old levels. And all the stuff you're going to need is actually on the free season pass. There might be some advantage to the paid one, but after a quick check, I actually don't think so. And the one we're going to pay attention to here is in this slot, slot number 7. It's these boxes that are related to the dungeons. You can see here you get some dense genesis materia. Some sticky vines and some other stuff is not really that relevant. It's really the dense material that we're going to talk about. And if I go on to the next page, it's very similar in the 17th one. It's Lazarus. That one's Tempest Heart. That one's Barnacles and Black Powder. Then we get the Iniad, the Empyrean Forge, the Savage Divide, all having the dense material in it. Only when you get to page 8 does this sort of change and what actually happens here is that you get some normal material but you also get mutator material which is also going to be very handy. In the next slot there it's the same kind of thing but it's the depths and then the dense stuff. That happens for the last three pages. Now why is this good? I'm going to claim my rewards and I'm going to get my dense genesis material. Here we go, going to do this, going to open the box. I think that box actually is something I need to open so let's go ahead and open that right now. There I go, I get my dense material and the other things that I don't think I really care about. Eh, Enchanted, not really that bad, but you know, not, not really amazing or anything like that. That's not the point. It's really the material we want. Then you go to your favorite gypsum kiln. For whatever reason, I always come to this one in Ebon Scale. It's just my favorite. I love it. I'm friends with it. You know, it's my bay. I slide myself over here and I open it up. And this place, if I'm honest, it's a little bit, I don't really like the UI. It's a little bit disorganized. It's a little bit cluttered. But let me just close the things that we do not need. We do not need gypsum refining. We do not need... We do not need gypsum casting. I will stop a little bit on material conversion. This is basically taking your old material and turning it into dense material, which you might actually probably do want to do, except there's one little caveat to this. I don't really have much Empyrean Forge material, but let's say I did this. Let's just go where I do 28 and literally it's 28. It's not like 280. 80 material equals one. So I'd only get 28 here. But the price of 28 material of the dense kind would actually cost me 104 gold just because of the tax. So, I mean, I think at some point the tax might get changed. If you really need the odd one or two, do it. If you have a shed ton of gold, consider it. But most of the time, I would ignore this. So let's move on from the material conversion and have a look at the unique expedition replicas. Now these, you want to also ignore, but I want to explain why. This is all of your gear that you can craft at gear score 625. So all of the old stuff hasn't gone, it's just here. However, for most people, there is literally no point using this. And I very much recommend just closing it out here when it comes to this, this one here. Now we come to the fun, the exciting, the interesting stuff. The Rise of the Angry Earth named replicas. And I'll just close the ones that until I get Garden of Genesis because you'll see now I'm actually here and now I can actually craft some things. Now the top ones I don't have enough for. You need 4,500. You can, if you want, just go ahead and run the story mode of the dungeon and you will get some of this and the story mode is very easy so if you can find groups you'll be absolutely loving it. You'll get it in no time. You can of course convert your old stuff, whatever you want. However, I just do not have enough to convert it because it requires so much of that 80 to 1 ratio. But let's scroll down to some things that I can actually create. And these are the ones that are at 3,500. When you create these, you actually get gear score 700. You get two perks and then a randomized third. Now that third, you can change as part of the named item conversion. But that named item conversion is very expensive. But literally, just for getting the season pass to 7, I can now craft one pretty damn decent item from this list. Several people have mentioned soul pollen to me. I'm not going to claim that it's this. I don't really know. But, you know, uh, there was a guy called Smoke who's in my chat. I'm going to leave one of his messages. He sort of, like, give me some examples of which ones you might want to go for. I'll just do a pinned comment. I don't want to talk about what's best in slot because, quite simply, I 
this moment, I just don't know. But this is pretty decent. You could literally have a ring that's gear score 700 if that's what you were sure of. And that's with deck, so you'd have thrust damage and you would have leeching. Do you know what? That's probably better than the ring I'm actually using, especially if I put on a good third perk. Here you can get some boots that are freedom and health. And again, if I crafted this, I would get a random perk, but you can then upgrade it. And as I said, it, this is pretty much all the dungeons. So you can get one from Lazarus, one from Genesis, one from Iniad, one from Tempest, one from Imperium Forge. Uh, I mean, they call it uh, Crystal Core Caverns. That's the Savage Divide. I'm guessing they changed the name at some point and just haven't changed it here, but whatever. So you could get that one as well. That's basically six items you could get at Gear Score 700. Obviously, you need to rank up your season pass, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, and some of the items are very good. For example, these Stone Soul uh, boots here. These have Shirking Four on with health. Apparently, you can put Shirking Heels on that, and that'll be pretty busy, is the phrase. Passage of Time is an interesting amulet from Lazarus. You get a con amulet that has stamina recovery and refreshing. You could put on a nice little third perk. Could be pretty decent. I'm not going to tell you what's base. I don't want to even talk about that, but... You can get quite a few items, you've got to get your season pass up. But we also had dense mutator material on there, and there's a lot of good stuff on here as well. I mean, this Azoth Crystal Breastplate, that's got Enchanted Ward on it and Refreshing. I'm sure you could put a third perk on that, and it'd be pretty good. Gear score 700, or for just leveling up your season pass. These are basically mostly, I don't know if they're all the named items, but you can see you got Childish Head Wrap here as well, sorry, Chest Wrap, and that's got Refreshing slash Conditioning and then a third perk of your choice, obviously. These are basically the old named items. But you know what? Some of them are very good. And the fact that you will get enough dense materia from the end of the season pass, why not? If you want Gears Go 700, what else are you going to do with this stuff, honestly? You might as well get out here and start crafting them because some of them are going to be useful. And it's free. It's literally on the free season pass. I won't talk too much about the named item upgrading, but once you've crafted it and maybe you don't get a, a perk that you like, you can come in here and you can change it. Yes, you're going to have to have all the juice. And at the minute, these chromatic seals is a little bit of a bugbear because you can only buy once per day and they cost 5,000 gold and it requires three. There's a theory that that amount will get changed. However, there is very little evidence for that. Apart from the fact on the patch notes for the expansion, it said it was going to be one and in game it's going to be three. Now, I don't know why that's the case. I saw a little comment that suggested somebody from Amazon doesn't know why that's the case. We'll see if that ever gets changed. I'm not sure what's going on. I think it might be a sort of like, oh, it slows you down at the start and then we'll just pretend it was a whoopsie and walk it back but for now like changing that third perk is very expensive and actually if you do it too often you're going to start struggling with dark matter but it's worth noting that you can change the third perk so if something is base you could literally craft it and then when you have all the materials and stuff you could change the third perk i'm just saying do not sleep on this stuff there is some really good stuff out there and i'll post the message that i have which is maybe potential good items and all the more interesting items i'm not going to give you the list of the actual best ones because i do do not know stop asking me i don't know and really the question becomes how do you level up your season pass that quickly now there's a small element that you could argue is pay to win because you can buy levels but just quickly on the pay to win front i'm really happy with the premium pass that they've done here and i want to give them kudos for that there really isn't very much power on like gold behind the premium season pass you obviously probably want to like get it because you're going to want the sexy bad boy mount and all the skins and all that kind of stuff but really there's not much power yes there's bits of gold sure but the actual most egregious thing on here is probably the jewelry matrix which if i'm honest is just gold again but in a different form there's none of these boxes there's nothing like that so really they've done a good job i don't know if this is just because it's the first season in the expansion but I just want to mention it. However, you can buy the premium season pass and you can do the normal version where you unlock the premium pass or you can do the version where you get 20 extra levels. That's actually what I did. I would actually be 20 behind this. And of course, behind me, there's a little button that says purchase levels. OK, you can actually purchase levels. And if I wanted to, and I actually have done this previously as part of a test video, I could add the Marks of Fortune and just buy all the levels up until 100 and get all of this stuff. However, you're pretty much scamming yourself if you do that. The season pass is a lot easier to complete because of the little change they've made to the activity card known as the wild stamp. Now, there's a couple of guides out here sort of telling you how to utilize this, but all you really need to do to like speed run it is to use your brain. You want to get the ones that you can actually do and you can do quickly. 
just go out there and farm it like you could play a song in very very quick if you wanted but do you know what maybe you could go and kill guardians instead and sometimes they might actually say do it with magic or whatever you're just looking for good combinations that you can do quickly and the wild card lets you stamp a card that you've not actually completed so let's say i do this if i was in this situation i'd maybe complete this one and complete this one that gives me a line that also gives me an extra wild stamp but i can probably get more here if i really want to so if i take this one and i take this one because there's no reason not to with these two stamps i can click this and get my stamp back because i filled out the line basically you get a stamp every time you fill a line and you get one per day but with that i could then fill another line so i can do that one. Oh, and what's that i could actually fill this line and get that one and i actually got two lines because i got the diagonal boom i'm not even like really concentrating on this if i'm honest next level here just for the sake of it i'll do it i'll get one wild stamp well actually i'll get two wild stamps won't i maybe even three because i'll get the line here the diagonal and the down so if I do this, I get that downward line so I don't even lose it. If I do this, I get them all. So actually, once you start getting to the end of it, the more you can start off with, the way easy it is because of the wild stamps. Now, at some point, I suspect they might actually limit these to how many you can get a day. This is one of those cases where you probably want to use it quickly before they fix it. Now, obviously, once you've done your card, and you've got the max XP from it, which is 6,900, you have to go and actually do something, you know? I can't wild stamp my way into more wild stamps. There is a bit of a limit. You actually do have to do a bit of content. But if I was out in the world, maybe I could loot an elite chest. Maybe I could kill some beasts with some magic. Do you know what I mean? You can, you can do stuff. It's dead easy, honestly. I spent no effort in this, basically and I'm still progressing quite quickly. They basically buff the speed in which you can go through it. Don't forget you've got your journey as well. That gives you massive XP. And all around, yeah, it's just good stuff. So like, what's the highest one I could get right now? I could do Dense Iniad. I'm not a million miles away from the Dense Mutator stuff if I wanted it. 2,000 and then 2,000. That's 4,000 Dense Mutator on that page. And then again, another 4,000. And then again, another 4,000. So you could basically have 12 Dense Mutator Materia. That was hard for me to say. And if I look at this, this is about three items you could craft. Now, I think I said there was seven earlier. This would put you to 10. So gear score 700 is very, very much within reach without doing any of the content other than the season pass. It's pretty cheeky. It's pretty cheeky. Honestly, it's damn cheeky. And honestly, I need to utilize it myself. My gear score at the minute, in my highest gear score set, I'm 694. You know what i could probably push that very easily to 700 it's cheeky it's tasty it's nice i'll stop going on about it again big shout out to my patreons i really love you guys and my youtube members again i'm being a little bit incompetent with actually updating the list and stuff like that it's the best way to support me otherwise come and follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash j oddity where the milky boy never stops milking and he never stops going i'm just doing some like references to the stream i'm sorry come and watch me it's good fun honestly however what you should definitely do is have a most beautiful day like and subscribe goodbye